Hey guys, what's going on? Um, before I even get started on this, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, I just want to sort of say that I'm going to rush into this one kind of blindly. Um, this is sort of a spur of the moment kind of thing. That's one of the things that I've always really uh, have had on my mind. Uh, but I feel like now it's time for me to actually voice my opinion on it. Uh, it's sort of just built up in my head for, like I said, quite some time. Uh, I've never really said much about it. Uh, I mean, aside from the random trolling tweet every once in a while, but uh, today I want to talk about, uh, well, I guess the main topic is going to be media, and if I run out of time, or not run out of time, but if I run out of things to say, and I might completely just go off on a tangent, uh, I never know where my mind's going to take me with things like this, but uh, I guess one of the things I really want to talk about was uh, how fucking retarded uh, media is. It's just, it's fucking disgusting. It really is. It's absolutely just absurd. <clears throat> I was on a, excuse me again, I was on Facebook the other day, perusing the old status updates for my friends, or uh, people I used to associate with, I wouldn't really consider them friends anymore, um, and Facebook has this new thing where there's like a, a featured article, you might be able to see it on, a, you see it on Twitter too, like you see like a tweet that everybody sees, uh, it's where Twitter feels like it's a promoted tweet or something like that, and uh, one of the articles that I saw Amongst all the other things that are going on, you know, the presidential campaigns, there's a uh, world tur turmoil. I can't even pronounce that. I'm sorry. Turmoil. Uh, murders. All that shit. And the one fucking article that they choose to show is one portraying, or not portraying, I'm sorry. Uh, that's, I, I can't, like I said, I can't even think. My head's just so boggled right now. The article in question is about Snooky. you know, uh, that little midget fucking slut from Jersey Shore who is now pregnant from God knows who the father is. She's probably swallowed more cum than a fucking whale has swallowed water in its life. Um, it's just an article about her pregnancy and how she had to stop tanning because, you know, she didn't want to harm the child or anything. Like, just get the fuck out of here. That's so, it's so stupid. Who, I mean, does anybody really give a shit about this fat little whore's fucking child? And her her lack of tanning because of it. No one gives a fuck. No one cares. I mean, um, it's. I mean, you've got like the seventeen-year-old girls that are like, Jersey Shore, Thursday nights, baby, yellow, yellow, DJ Polly D, fuck me in the ass. Go fucking kill yourself. Get the fuck out of here. You're fucking. You're. you're it's fuck you. Okay. That's it. That's all I can say about that one. Uh, another thing. Who here has heard of uh, Trayvon Martin? Show of hands. You know, hypothetically, of course. Everybody in the fucking world knows who Trayvon Martin is. Because that uh, Zimmerman fellow... This is actually only a few hours south of me in Florida. Um, Zimmerman shot Trayvon, who was armed with a can of Arizona tea and a bag of Skittles, because he had a hoodie on and he looked suspicious. When in actuality, it's just because Zimmerman was a racist bigot and deserves the fucking rotten hell. Um... Which he probably will. He may not only see, you know, a few years of jail time because the American judicial system is a fucking joke, but uh, that's besides the point. Next question is, who's heard of Kelly Thomas? Anybody? Nobody? I'll tell you who Kelly Thomas is. He's the uh, a schizophrenic man in California who was beat to death last year by police officers because he didn't, uh, he wasn't really corresponding with what they were telling him to do. He wasn't, he wasn't, God, I can't even fucking think. It's just because it's it's disgusting. They literally beat this homeless man to death who was schizophrenic, pot, you know, more than likely un uh, unmedicated. So his his uh his disease was probably uh, overbearing. wasn't really uh, doing what the police officers told him to, and uh, they beat him to death. He went into a coma. He died five days later. Uh, they actually released a video. I'm not gonna link it. I'm not gonna talk about it. It's just it's horrifying. It's just it's bad. It's really bad uh, that someone captured of the police. There were six officers at the end of it, tasing him, beating him, punching him, kneeing him. While well, this man screamed for forgiveness and for uh, and for help. Yet you don't see any CNN news stories about that, or you don't see any campaigns for Kelly Thomas, or you you know you don't see any shit like that because uh, because you will know, be honest with you it's probably because Trayvon was a black man and we're still hung up about something that you know that we abolished 40 something years ago 50 years ago um and now we're you know, a white man gets beat to death by other white men by the fucking police department people that we pay tax money to to protect us 
and then they go and beat the fucking shit out of us and kill us. And that doesn't get any, uh, the news headlines that people want. So, uh, fuck that. Uh, this is gonna be a very vulgar commentary, by the way, I'm sure you can tell. Uh, let's move on to, uh, something a little bit... Not as serious, a little bit lighthearted, something that really just irks me. We'll go with, uh... We'll go with entertainment. We'll go with the entertainment and media and... Well, not really media, but just the entertainment business and itself. We'll, uh, we'll start off with movies. Uh, anybody seen the trailer for the movie Battleship? Yeah? Looks pretty good, right? Same producers as uh, Transformers. Probably has like a $250 million budget. One of the worst fucking movies I have, I have ever seen. I haven't watched it. I'm not going to watch it. The trailer alone makes me want to vomit. It is fucking stupid. Holy Christ on a cross in heaven. That is fucking retarded. It's got, who is that, Rihanna? Rihanna? Whoever the fuck her name is, the alien-ass forehead slut that thinks she can talk and make music and all that shit. And, uh, and the guy from, uh, what was that one movie called where he was a boxer out in the streets and then he did that one Nicholas Sparks movie. By the way, fuck Nicholas Sparks. All of his movies fucking suck. It's the same premises with different characters and a different heartbreaking disease or unnatural event that rips some, uh, you know, this couple apart but they still find love in the end. God damn it, Nicholas Sparks. Thank you for that heartwarming story. A Walk to Remember. The Notebook. Um, that one movie with fucking Miley Cyrus. That other movie with Rachel McAdams and the dude from Battleship. They're all the same fucking movie. Thanks, Nick. Enjoy your money, you fucking cocksucker. Um, how about James Cameron? Did you guys like Avatar? I didn't. Remember that movie Pocahontas? Yeah, it's the same fucking thing. Only with this time the Indians aren't red, they're blue. Hoo 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 hoo. Whoop de fucking D. Thanks, James Cameron. Enjoy your billion fucking dollars. Titanic in 3D. Can't wait to see that one. It's just the same fucking movie that'll make a billion more dollars because you're a fucking asshole. Um, music. We want to talk about music? I don't even want to get started on music. Um, you know, you've all heard the term hipster. You're a hipster because you listen to this, or you're a hipster because you watch that. No, I have fucking common sense because I don't listen to stupid ass fucking shit on the radio like Chris Brown. Or, uh, who else is out there? Fucking Lil Wayne? Yeah, he's amazing, isn't he? God damn, the fucking lyrical depth and just absolute talent pouring out of his black tattooed pores is just, ugh, so fucking nice. Can't wait for his new album, Lil Wayne or. Carter the 17th, featuring the song, Fuck Yeah Bitch, I'm Gonna Make More Money Off My Stupid Ass Music, featuring Drake and P. Diddy and fucking Will Smith, Back From the Dead to Rap. Ugh, oh, fuck. Oh, man. Let's see what else is out there. Nickelback? Uh, I don't even need to say anything. Uh, you know, and then you see... Uh, we get, uh, it's just the term hipster. I just want to work on that one for a few minutes. Hipster is so fucking stupid. People think that term is somewhat new. It's been around for years. It's been around at least since the 90s. Uh, I can't go much further back than that because I was born in 89, so I can't speak for generations that I wasn't a part of. Um, you know, if you, here, let's take an example. Say you're a boy living in the country. You enjoy fishing and mud and the, the wonderful jokes of uh, Larry the Cable Guy. Are you not hip to that scene? Are you not doing what is cool for your demographic? Um, is it not being hip? Is it not being cool for uh, for your demographic? You know, if I want to listen to music that I feel is, that speaks to me, uh, or movie, movies that appeal to me, or uh, whatever, if I want to dress a certain way, maybe I wear a pair of shorts that are too long, so I roll them up and I have a pair of Vans on. Oh, fucking watch out. Here comes Hipster Brown, the panda man, getting ready to fuck you in the ass. Not really. I don't like anal. Um, it's just stupid. The term hipster is so fucking stupid, and the people that use it are even fucking worse. You know? Oh, you smoke American spirits and wear glasses. You're a fucking... No, fuck you. Shut up. Get the fuck out of my way. I'm gonna go drink the beer that I want to drink. Watch the shit I want to watch while you go watch fucking... Dane Cook and jerk off your fucking brother, you fucking asshole. Go fuck yourself. Anyway, um, this has been a rant by me. Hope you enjoyed it. If you don't, go ahead and unsubscribe and dislike the video because I don't give a shit. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye bye.